And so there's no exact rule where you have to start with one scale and end with the other, but I'm just showing you the context of it. So now I'm gonna do it where I'm starting with a major lick, and I did a little bit in that example, but I'm really gonna try and make my phrases that start with a major idea and resolve with a minor idea. So here we go. Major. Minor. Another major idea. And then a little minor thing at the end there. All right, so like I said, this is gonna be more of a concept lesson, so I'm not gonna be breaking licks down, but I'm gonna be just showing you what's going on conceptually behind this stuff. The jam track I was playing in that intro was just an A chord to a D chord. Kind of like an ACDC kind of thing, because Angus mixes the major and the minor a whole lot. Uh, another part of it is just knowing your scale shapes a bit better. Uh, that can really help, and having kind of vo a vocabulary with your major pentatonic licks and your minor pentatonic licks. Uh, I was, like I said, I was playing A to D. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple examples where I start my lick with a minor pentatonic lick, and then I resolve the lick or the phrase with a major pentatonic. So they're both together in one phrase, and then I'll reverse it where start with the uh, start a phrase with a major pentatonic idea and then evolve the lick and, and f end the phrase with a minor pentatonic idea. So we're playing like phrases that, that start with one scale and end with the other and vice versa. So let's look at some of the shapes here. The A minor pentatonic and, it, and its extension, which is all at guitarjams.com if you want to break those shapes down a little more. But basically the A minor pentatonic its extension, and like I said, you know, I'm not going to break it all down where I teach these extensions, but you can find the lessons for them. So the A minor pentatonic right here, so that's that extended run, all A minor pentatonic scale. Okay. Now let's look at the, uh, the A major pentatonic. It's the same fingering, but you put your pinky on the root. And then the extension for that. The co I was basically mixing them both together in little phrases like that. So l let me show you uh, just some of the concepts here. Uh, the first of which is starting with a minor pentatonic lick in your phrase and then evolving it into a major pentatonic lick. And then we'll do the vice versa. So I've got my minor pentatonic lick right here. Let me just start with a classic kind of bluesy rock kind of lick. <laughs> That's all the A minor pentatonic. And then I ended the phrase by going into the major pentatonic. Now theoretically, this is kind of a more bluesy rock concept where sometimes you're breaking some of the theory rules, but it sounds really good. Uh, okay, so I did the classic A minor lick. And 
that's all from that A minor pentatonic. Then I went into this little thing here where it's the whole, st they're only a whole step apart. And that little box right there comes from this, the A major pentatonic. So it'd be right here, the uh, sixth fret on the G, and then five, seven, five, seven. That's all from the A major pentatonic. And then it slides down into, into this thing right here, that shape of the major pentatonic. So once again, start with the A minor. And then I went to major. again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this little jam track play out and I'm going to play phrases that start with minor and end with major. So there'll be one phrase starting with a minor lick and ending with a major lick. 